from a card like Ancient Grudge against a deck that runs Stoneforge Mystic? I would, uh, I, I believe I, I that. don't know. I mean, it seems counterintuitive, but I know it definitely was a card that James, uh, James lost because he had Ancient Grudges top twice when there were no targets. That is true. I mean, it's sort of a threat theory answer theory thing, though, because you certainly don't want a batter skull to tear you up. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Eric opens up. On the play, thinking about his draw. Go. Chooses a pass with the Wooded Foothills off as opposed to Green Sun Zenith. Ben has the turn one of Visions. Turn two, Eric sacrifices the Wooded Foothills, it looks like. Yep. Maybe just trying to play around misstep with that Green Zone Zenith. Get a Noble Hierarch instead of a Dryad Armor. <laughs> Don't really need to ramp into the mono green mana. Just get the get the noble hierarchy to play out the screen sounds if he's gonna do that this turn or just play a dew drop. Just don't let it get uh Oh no, brainstorm. Resolves. I mean There is an ancient grudge right there. Waiting to see what Eric does with this turn. Brainstorm still resolving. Ancient Grudge and Fire Ice being shuffled or being put on top. And a fetch land? No, it's a Dryad Arbor. Yep. He's gonna get one of these cards back. Misty Rainforest from Ben Friedman. And that gives him a Stoneforge Mystic. The ancient or ancestral visions ticks down. Yep. Probably getting a batter skull. Yep, there we go. Draws a card, casts Green Sun Zenith. For Noble Hierarch. That card really does a lot of work in this deck. Oh yeah. You know, gets no just between Noble Hierarch, Tarmogoyf, and the Dry Gobber gives you such a good range. I mean we've even seen uh Trigon Predator, we've seen Thrun, you know, maybe even in Magical Christmas Land, Trastodon. Ben uh, Friedman puts down his third land and Passes stands back. with a Stoneforge Mystic at the ready, ready to drop down batter a skull. batter skull. And I believe he has naturally drawn his Sword of Fe Feast and Famine. Yeah, that would be a really huge beating. That's an ancient grudge, though. That's true. <clears throat> Eric looking at another green sun zenith. I would be very suspicious if I were Ben and Eric attacked. Just saying go, seem, don't attack. Attacking just means you've got something. Sure. There we go. Batter skull. Down. Sort of beast. I think he may have telegraphed it too hard. There's a natural order in Eric's hands, so. I think he did perhaps telegraph it too hard. Yeah. Batterson's just going to sit around until uh, Ben has the mana to bounce it. And also, for that matter, um, he didn't need to cast the Ancient Grudge there. He could have waited until Ben um, attempted to equip it, perhaps. Maybe he didn't want to let Ben on tap. Even so, I mean. There's a source to plowshares. Mental misstep. This might be the showdown. That Ancestral <clears throat> Visions, it's going to do its work in a moment. Like, is it on one right yep. now? It is, in fact. I think Eric's going to go for Natural Order here. Maybe I'm wrong, but... 
land. He has spell pierce back up. Thinking. I think if you're Eric, you're gonna want to go for it. I think he might even be down on cards before the vision resolves. Even with the ancient grudge, he's just getting further and further away from winning. Just get Progenitus, end it in two hits with the Hydra. <clears throat> Waiting to see what Eric will do. Looks like he's going to sack the Scalding Tarn. Fetch, I think he is going to go for it. I think he's going to go for natural order for Progenitus. You're right. Here we go. That's the natural order. Zoom. Sacking Dried Arbor as opposed to the Noble Hierarch, getting in one more additional damage on the swings. And uh, Ben, yep, he's like, there, there it is. Well, that's... Uh, there we go. Genesis is going to come right on down, I think. I don't see any reason to get Terrasted on here. <clears throat> Wrath of God uh, from Ben. He's already seen Wrath of God this match with Vendillion Click. Yeah, if he's got it, he's got it. If you, there yeah. it is. If you dress on two of his lands, you're not going to get through for a little bit, I feel like. So may as well just go for the kill. Draw, draw, draw. Three? Did he draw his fourth card? I don't know. He drew a lot at once. I didn't think so, but maybe he did. It's hard to tell from here. I mean, I'm sure that between Eric and the judge that they probably are on it. Yep. Yeah. Looks like he has a Wrath of God, but uh, I think Eric has the Spell Pierce for it. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. White Bordered 5th Edition. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to all of the, uh, you know, best as possible cards I've seen so far today. I mean, it looks like maybe a land sack, double flooded strands, and uh, after this brainstorm resolves anyway. Yep. Gonna send back visions and path probably. Looks like uh, Ben has the misstep for the spell here, so could be seeing a wrath. If your eyes are correct on the wrath, I think we will. Fetch, fetch, fetch. This also means that Ben has five mana for the batter skull that's probably still in his hand. He needs to wait for the ancient grudge, though. This is true. Nope, Jace. just Jace. <coughs> wow. I don't even know if I spell pierce that. Yeah, don't let him bury someone. I guess I did not see a Wrath of God. I guess the other white card is just another path or swords. Might be the uh, Elspeth Tezzerite swords. Jace does not resolve. Ben has two turns to get something going. Yep. Ooh, one turn, really. Ten. Good point. Eleven, actually. Yeah. Ben down to six. And that does not look like uh, what he needs. Wrath of God. Oh. Wrath of God. He did, in fact, have it. Yep. There's a... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the Jace accomplishes that turn. I mean, essentially, you've shifted into being an aggro control deck right Rosie there in that, that moment. You don't get dazed if you Jace that turn. No. You get days like you. He's playing around days. Is what he's doing? I mean, you mean Eric? Eric ben, is playing no, around. No, Ben is playing around days. No, Jason. I'm saying Eric's spell pierce on Jace. I don't oh, think that. Oh, yeah. I don't know that that didn't. Like, what does the Jace accomplish? Even a, it, it gives him maybe one he, turn to find Wrath of God, and spell pierce is still. Maybe he assumed if Ben had the Wrath, he would have cast it, so he should have let him find it. That is, 
when you're playing an aggro control deck, you don't counter spells that don't stop you from killing them. I mean, maybe you didn't want Ben to find the spell pierce for this, or the, you know... Just, the misstep for the spell pierce? Yeah, like, if, he's probably going to find the misstep, so you may as well counter the Jace in case he's missing the Wrath. There's a path there, used upkeep on the Dryad Arbor. Fail to find, because there are none in the deck. <clears throat> I'll look. Oh, I failed, failed. to find. See how much time is left in this round. Eric goes, Grim Lava Man, sir. Only a few activations would threaten to kill Ben. Only four minutes remain. A Jace the Mind Sculptor hits the table, bouncing the Grim Lava Man, sir, right away. And, uh. Pyroblast. Mental misstep. Step. Cast naturally. Grim Lava Man, sir. Mental misstep. Ben to four. Two. Let's see if Jace can kill before uh, this round goes to time. Or maybe this uh, Batter Skull or this Stone for Just the various cards in Ben's hand. I don't know. I might start Fate Healing. I'm, he has one card in hand. <coughs> you have a Vendillion click. Stoneforge <coughs> Mystic puts uh, the Batter Skull back into his hand that he put back into the deck with the Jace. Yep. Just waste him right now. Get that drop right out of there. Draw step, Vendillion click. No. Thought he had a click. Brains, we only got, uh, are you talking about Ben having a click? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, doesn't want to walk into the daze, figures he can play out the match in the reasonable time allotted. <clears throat> and the no green means no ancient grudge. This is right. That's the turn. Pyro. Pyro. Missed up. Ouch. End of the turn, Batter Skull. Yep. Ben does not have uh, to take many turns to turn this game into a win. If the time was called now, he has lethal within time. Ben hides a brainstorm, leaves himself with the swords. Gonna crunch on in there just for four, interestingly. I guess he's going to be able to bounce it, uh, recast if uh, Eric has the green. And here comes Vendillion Click. <coughs> Handle all green cards. Looks good Keep to me. Keep those. Keep okay. Them. Untap. Draw. Crunch on in there for... Zot. Come on in for eight. Yep. Eric goes to two. Yep. Dead. And Ben Friedman takes it down. Yeah. Uh, you know, last time we saw James Rinkowitz, uh Was probably going to win with one yeah. more turn. Maybe, maybe, maybe two. Maybe a couple more turns with the rug, no rug deck. And uh, Eric English, uh, this time around, gets uh, taken down by Ben Friedman with pretty much the same 75. Yeah, it's a very, very close to, to return to the same match. Um, yeah. I know, for those of you who are just joining us, this is Star City Games.